important. Amen? Verse 42, Acts 2, 42. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in the breaking of bread and in prayer. So get amongst yourselves, if y'all can. I know I got bad eyes. You can even get everything on audio today. And, you know, just say, hey, can we read a chapter today or, or, or even a paragraph today? And just study. You don't do it in my pace. You don't do it in your church's pace. You don't do it in some denominational religion's pace. You learn the word of God at your pace. That's why he gave you a free will. Right. Amen? Amen? You do not have to be perfect. You know, people say, oh, it's come as you are. Yes. Then the church gets you in here and wants to try to change who you are. It takes time, man. It just don't happen overnight. When I came into church 33 years ago, it took me 15 years to get it right. And I'm still working on some stuff. Amen? Amen. So don't let the religiosity and these people, because Jesus said, you religious folk, they're going to get in before you. Every time I hear these people yelling about abortion and, and homosexuality and all this, I say, y'all better be careful. Because y'all trying to do God's work. God just told us to love them. He didn't, tell them to, he didn't tell us to throw them in hell. He said love them, because if you love them, maybe they'll stop. If you love them through it, somebody loved me through my drug addiction, and I finally stopped. Amen. Amen? Amen? But if you keep on throwing stones at me, guess what? I don't want your God. What am I going to do with your God? No, I'm not saying compromise. I'm not saying tell them what they're doing is right. What I'm saying is love them despite themselves. Somebody did it for you. Sure. One of my models is practice using grace. The same grace that was given to you by Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's it. But study his word of God. The more you study him, the more you want to love him. Amen. I tell people this too. If you had a girlfriend, a husband, a wife, or somebody you truly love, didn't you want to know everything about him? You want to know every single thing about him because you love that man. You love that woman. But you love Jesus, but you don't want to know everything about him. That's how come people say, how come you know scripture so well? I don't know scripture all that well. I know what I failed so well. I failed scripture. That's how come I know it. And I love him enough to want to know who he is, who can continually love me in my mess. How can you love me like this? Amen? Yes, Amen. Go down on another road. But let's go. We're still talking about step 11. I now continue in regular scripture study, prayer, worship, fellowship to increase God's will in my life. And prayer again. Prayer don't have to be some fancy thing. All auspicious God. We come before you, all omnipotent one, and one who is sits high and comes down. No, no, no. Talk to him like he's your father and you're his child. I argue with God more than I, <laughs> I argue with him more than anything else. Amen. He'd be like, I need you to do this. I don't want to do that. Well, you're going to do it. I ain't trying to do it. Well, you know, I ain't, you ain't, I ain't going to bless you, but it don't bless me then. See, don't you argue with your parent, but you never win the argument, do you? I never won an argument with God. But God knows when the anger is in you, truth is coming out of you. Hmm. And he would only approach you according to your personality, not mine. He knows his child. He ain't going to come to me the same way he comes to you. Because you know I'm prideful, egotistical, and stubborn. So he got to come to me hard in correction. Some of y'all are loving me, peaceful, and nice, and he will come to you that way. But God loves you. Amen? That's my main point. Uh, Mark chapter 12. Mark chapter 12. I'm not going to keep y'all too long. Uh, Mark chapter 12. And then the next time we come together, I think it'll be the, uh, it's just the second Monday, right? So it'll be the fourth Monday of the month. We'll come together. Then that'll finish up chapter, I mean, step 12. And then we'll start doing some other lessons. Amen? I want to also get into something called rational emotive spiritual therapy. Amen? And that's about teaching you how to deal with day-to-day -day things that are going on in your life without you having to fight, argue, fuss, or fight. Amen? 
and how to turn them over to God um, and leave it there. Not you trying to fix it. I turned so many people over to God, I wouldn't believe. Amen. Amen. Mark, uh, when I say Mark, chapter 12. Mark 12, uh, 28 to 33. Mark 12, 28 to 33. And it says, And one of the scribes came, having heard them reasoning together, and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? Oh boy, did I have a situation with that. And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love your neighbor as yourself. There is none other commandment greater than these. <clears throat> and the scribe said unto him, Well, master, thou hast said the truth, for there is one God, and there is none other but he. And to love him with all thy heart and with, and with all the understanding and with all the soul and with all the strength, and to love his neighbor as himself is more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. I had got into a situation with a, uh, with a bishop in a Baptist church and he wanted to tell me we are commanded to get baptized. And I said, I never saw that commandment. I said, I seen that as an instruction to do so. But being baptized is not a prerequisite for salvation. And he said, brother, you're wrong. It's the, great, it's the greatest commandment of them all. Now, we just saw in verse 31, it said, and the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love your neighbor as thyself. This is none other commandment greater than these. Amen? So loving your neighbor as yourself is the greatest commandment you can give. Not baptism. I'm not saying you shouldn't get baptized. I've been baptized four times. But then I threw it at him. I said, how about the thief on the cross? Did he get baptized? You remember the two thieves when Jesus was being crucified? And he turned to Jesus and said, Lord, remember me when thou come into thy kingdom. And Jesus said, this day you shall be in paradise with me. Right? Yeah. Now, did he get off the cross and go get baptized? No, he was being executed. <laughs> okay? But Jesus still said, you're born again. You're saved because I'm going to be in paradise with you. Why? Because you accepted me. Right. Amen? Right. It's a ritual. It's okay. But don't say, because I'm baptized, I'm going to heaven. No. No. It's not that. No. Should you get baptized? Yeah. But don't bank it as one of the reasons why you're going to go to heaven. No. The reason why you're going to go to heaven is because you accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life. Amen? Because Am I right? You're right? Come on. He couldn't get off the cross, could he? <laughs> Jesus didn't say, okay, now you accept me. Let's get off this cross. These Romans killing us and, and <laughs> executing us. But let's get off the cross. We're now to the Jordan River. And I'll baptize you. Then we'll get back on the cross and die. Uh, <laughs> Amen. It don't work like that. Amen, brother. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, Matthew 6, 33. Matthew 6 and verse 33. Hope you're getting something out of this. But I had to let the bishop know you were wrong. Your title, look, the higher your title, the more servant you should be. Don't let somebody think because of their title or because of their degrees that they're more intelligent than you. I know a lot of stupid people with master's okay. degrees and doctorates and all that, okay? okay. <laughs> I ain't never been to college. But we know a whole lot of people who are just as stupid. Look at all these people who are following this, this, uh, <laughs> this thing with orange hair. How stupid can you be? 